Stoa is a digital campfire where we cohere in dialogue about what matters most at the knife's edge of what's happening now. All right, everyone, welcome to the Stoa Practice Potluck. Um, yeah, so we have uh, Joe Edelman here today, uh, going to show off uh, something called meaning supply uh, and how to be involved in it. I'll let Joe do the explanation. Um, very happy that Joe's here. Uh, my number one crush, as people know, is Benita Roy. My number two crush is Joe uh, Edelman. So <laughs> there you go. he's trying to work his way up to the top. Uh, he, has some, he has some work to do though. Uh, so that being said, uh, this is gonna be a very interactive session. Uh, it's gonna be recorded. I'm gonna tag in Joe right now and then uh, he'll, he'll, he'll talk about what we're doing here. So there you go. Thank you, Peter. We should do a stoic session, which is just me and Benita Roy trying to be cute, like each of us trying to be cuter than the other. We can have it like a wrestling match where we, or like a debate club where we each get three minutes of cute. And then there's like some declaration about who was cuter in those three minutes. I don't know if I can handle that. That's, that's, that's too much for me. Too much for the stoic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up for it. That's all I'll say. Um, so I'm nervous. Uh, I've spent some of the last month building a social network. Um, and it, it's been a long time since I've done that. I built a lot of couch surfing, uh, like couchsurfing.com, the, the site that you go if you want to sleep in some stranger's house. Um, but it's been a long time since I've built a social network. Uh, and uh, yeah. <laughs> and I haven't really, we have about 20. All right, so he froze, right? Um, Joe, uh, uh, Joe, you're frozen. So it's a good pose that you got frozen in, though. I have to admit, <laughs> it's not the worst. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> well, we tried to entertain these lovely people in your absence. Thank you, Jess and Peter and whoever else was the entertainer. Um, sorry about that. I, actually, where did I get cut off? Should I, should I resume? Are you guys doing something more important now? You said you were working on meeting supplies and you're working at couch surfing. Yeah, it was right oh, in the yeah. beginning. I was saying I was nervous because it's the first social network I've built in a long time. Um, and it's brand new kind of, it's like software made by me that I'm gonna share with you today. Um, <clears throat> but the software is not the important part, or it's kind of important, but um, the thing that I'm really excited about is um, to, that it can be a place where we learn from each other. Um, and so, yeah, my plan, I hope, my, if, if my internet goes away again, I'll come back faster, I'll, I'll use my phone. <laughs> um, my plan is to share my screen and, uh, and give you guys a, a quick tour of the site, just click through a little bit um, to show you kind of uh, how it looks when, I, when I'm using it. And then to talk a little bit about um, what we're gonna add and then just all go over to the site and try to add stuff. And probably some things will be confusing. We'll get some bug reports, but probably we'll also add a bunch of great practices and then we can look through them and, uh, you know, and more. So let me share my screen and get started. Um, this is good, I guess. Okay. So this is the site. It's called Meaning Supplies. And the goal is, it's a long-term goal, but the goal is eventually to make it um, uh, good for everything you need for a meaningful life. Um, but I'm starting like in, in a niche and that's with uh, group practices, group activities, group practices. Um, these are a big source of meaning for people. Later, I'll add personal practices like meditation techniques and things like that. Later, I'll add larger structures like uh, uh, organizational structures, social networks, apps, things like that. Um, so for now, it's just group, group activities. If I click here, you can see I can also look at organizational structures, but there's very few of them on the site. 
And you can see there's a few people, some of them here, that have already been editing the site. But it's very few people. These are all of the people that have used it uh, in this little list right now. So if I want a group activity for curiosity, I can just kind of select that and click go. And then I'm on this page. And you can see there's a bunch of uh, group activities here and they have instructions. And if I want more information about one, I can click it. Um, I don't know why it says I tried this with a chicken. That's, it's a, some of the content is not in the best, best situation, like the best, uh, it needs a little work. So, you know, each one has a title and a description. Um, you can edit the description and it's in Markdown. So you can write, if some of you know Markdown, you can write, you can bold things and make links and even embed images and stuff like that. Um, and each activity also has reviews. So um, there's sort of two buttons attached to each one. I played this and I want to play. And so one of the things that I hope to do today is um, <coughs> We'll add things and then we'll see if we want to play other people's activities. And if we do, um, then uh, uh, then we can kind of organize around that. So here's this game, Human Camera, that I've never played. Um, I can read a little bit about it. This is really ugly. I need to make this look better. There's, there's a lot of bugs in the layout and stuff like that that I still need to work on. Um, so I can see what other people's experience is. This, this page is about curiosity, right? Um, but there's different kinds of curiosity. And so um, this game, Human Camera, is supposed to be good for this kind of uh, curiosity. It's called Follow and Trust. Oh, I need to just... Um, I'm gonna, that page will improve. Uh, uh, a little bit as we work. There's like a later version of the software that I need to up upload. And if you want to add one, uh, you can you can click here and uh, you name it and you can write a description and then you write a kind of review. The reviews look like this. Um, so if you have a particular practice and you've done it and you want to describe it for other people, you can say, what kind of curiosity is it good for? How often do you play it? How often would you like to? Um, these kinds of questions. And then your name will appear next to this, uh, I played this button here. And that's most of what it does. Uh, the only other thing that I'll show you is that you can make custom lists. So if you have an event, you can make a page for it. Um, and uh, you can make a new page just right here where it says new list in this corner. So I can name a new list. Like I can see, say games we played at Stella, create it. I get a, a page for my new list and I can immediately edit it and start adding uh, activities to it, right? So there's my new list. And you can see it's in my URL. So it says meeting supplies, Edelax games we played at the STOA is now a URL that I can share. Other people can uh, try out these games, say that they wanna play them, that kind of stuff. So that's my little tour. I'll stop sharing. And maybe if there's any questions, uh, I'd love to answer questions before we all kind of jump in. And uh, I think you can just unmute yourself and speak because there probably won't be so many questions. Hey, uh, yeah, I got a question. I was looking at the other day. Is there a way to just see a list of all the activities that are on the website so far? Yes. Uh... Uh, it's kind of hidden. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a URL. You can say, here, I'll go back to the site. Uh, so you can look at all group activities by going to all group activities. And you get a kind of an ugly list but it shows what everything has been reviewed for. And there's some activities that are reviewed for multiple kinds of values. Um, yeah, so, and there's some that, that are, have been reviewed for none. 
Uh, other questions? So the scope seems, Joel, it seems really cool, by the way. It's giving me a little less anxiety about the whole ecology of practices and trying to map everyone's uh, different modalities. Uh, but it seems like the scope is just in that initial part of the process, not in actually executing or conducting the various practices or games. Yeah, so my hope is to, um, to kind of roll it out in stages. So the first stage is just curatorial, is just collecting, um, co you know, collecting practices. And the second stage is organizing, which I'm already kind of almost ready for, is for organizing people who want to play. So just having lists of people. So getting a sense of like, oh, this new one is really popular. A lot of people have seen it. They clicked want to play on it. That would be a good reason to organize a, a session. Um, and then uh, after that, I want to have people be able to mark themselves as facilitators of this game or that game. Um, and then I'll build in some kind of way that the facilitators can uh, announce to the people who want to play uh, that they're you know, doing a session, that kind of stuff. So in phases, I guess. This is not a question, but uh, more of a comment. Uh, when I saw it, I got <clears throat> excited because um, as I was telling you, we have these kind of projects that are forming here, like Communitas Club or Psychotherapy Cafe. And this seems like an excellent way just to kind of like brain dump, figure out which ones we want to practice and eventually an ecology that could emerge from it, like Elf was saying. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's quite cool. So uh, I'm stoked. Yeah, and I'm, I'm very, uh, what I showed you is kind of like how it works out of my mind. Oh, there's something that I didn't show, which is, uh, so maybe I'll share my screen again and show one more thing. Um, but I'm very interested in how people use it and where they get frustrated and, uh, and, and like building it to be better. So uh, what I didn't show you is that each person has a profile. Um, so this is my profile. Um, and so you can see the games that I've played or the activities that I've played and when I reviewed them. So I have this little kind of um, timeline of, of what I've done and all the lists that I've made. Um, and I think this, uh, and one of the lists that we can look at for each person is the, the, the games that I wanna play. And there's one for Peter already. Um, so Peter reviewed one. Uh, one exercise here and has no lists. <laughs> I need to make it look a little better. It'll have his face on it and stuff like that soon. Um, but uh, I'm very excited to, I, I like the social network aspect of it. I like the, the idea that, you know, just like Goodreads is about books and uh, Netflix is about film and you can kind of follow along what other people are doing. I'm excited to kind of build that out. Um, and, and really I'll do that based on how I see people using, using it and where it seems useful and fun. Um, great, any other questions before we? Uh, how do, who decides uh, the, list of, the list of categories you put that in and who decides, um, like I looked at collective presencing and it's under vulnerability. And I'd say I played it and it's also curiosity. So how, mm. how is it the person who first put it in who gets to decide? No, so that's based on the reviews. Um, and so you can add a review, like you can just say, I've played this. Mm -hmm. uh, like you can add it on the, one way to do it is to add it on the curiosity page. It will recognize that you're typing in the name of a game that's already in the database. And then it will say, oh, what kind of curiosity is this good for? And then it will appear on both pages. So. Uh, and this is something that, 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 that we need to do. And I started with a fairly limited list of values <clears throat> and a very limited list of kind of categories, but eventually I want to, I, as it fills up, as you all fill it up, um, it, I wanna grow in all of these directions. I, uh, so I wanna add, instead of just group activities, which is very vague, I'll go into group games, uh, voting structures, um, uh, debate formats, you know, so that, that column will get richer and then also the values column so instead of just curiosity and vulnerability and there's now like six more or something there'll be a hundred of those um and you'll be able to add them yourself too 
Um, Jess. Oh, yeah. no. whether it's to be used by the stoa. No, it's for everyone. It's just in a very rough state um, because I've been working mostly on the software and not, not on the content. Um, so I think we should try uh, to, to jump in and see uh, how it goes. And um, I, what I'd, I'd like for everyone to do is, is go to the site, which I'm putting the URL in, uh, oops. I have to send everyone. Uh, go to the site and, oh, about I want to play. Well, eventually, I'm answering Billy's question in the chat. Um, I don't think that the facilitators need to be facilitators of the STOA. I think the STOA's Wisdom Gym is one of the best groups of facilitators like doing stuff online that I know, but there's actually several. Um, there's uh, the Authentic Relating Community has a platform called Connect, which is also a Zoom room with uh, a schedule. <laughs> Uh, so this is kind of comparable to the Wisdom Gym. It's not as good. Um, uh, and there's the inter-intellect. There's like many different of these kinds of things. And I, I think they can all use it. Um, yeah, yeah, of course you can share with your friends. Yeah. Um, so I put in the uh, URL. Uh, oh, not yet, Joel, but that's one of the things that I want to add like a subset of group activities will be like group activities that work in Zoom. I don't actually know what to call them, but <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, jump jump to the site, try to make an account. It'll ask you to make an account uh, and then try to add something or review something that you see and complain to me. Um, and Billy, the, the answer to that is, uh, it, it doesn't yet. There's a list of people who want to play. So you can see the list of people who want to play any particular game. But um, uh, but that's all for now. But later, there'll be some way of kind of contacting each other and organizing. I connected with Google. Should I not have done that? Because it's now telling me an error has occurred if I try and go to my profile. Should I have gone in? Or should everybody else go in some other way? Oh. Uh, has anybody else had Google work? Hmm. I just logged in with Google for the first time and it worked okay. I'm logged in, but when I go to my little profile thing and try and look at my profile to see what was there, it says an unexpected error has occurred. Uh oh, I'll look into that. Okay, that's so I didn't do anything <laughs> bad, didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, I, I'm getting the same error when I try to look at my profile. Okay. Cool. Okay, I'll, I'll look into it. It's probably maybe your profiles don't work yet. I guess that's what's happening. And just other feedback. I didn't even get there because, <laughs> but uh, there was no prompt to create an account. So I guess I maybe just had to go and sign in, and then that's where they did their thing. But yeah, I just signed in, and it said Google or Twitter, and I clicked Google. Yeah, Twitter's a little better tested, but I, it's probably a bug that I'll, I'll, I'll try to fix it. I'll see what, what I can do. Hmm. And by the way, virtual would seem a good category to cover Zoom and anything else. Totally. Some, some of these are real life things. Yeah, it may be that your profile just doesn't work because there's nothing on it. And maybe profiles don't work when there's nothing on it. So maybe try adding a game or reviewing a game and then try your profile again. 